Hi and welcome to my channel. So many people that are currently applying for visa sponsorship jobs to move to the UK or indeed even people that are already in the UK applying for jobs and looking for visa sponsorship, they are applying for jobs that don't actually exist and these are actually fake jobs that have just been put on by random people who are actually not offering any sponsorship at all. Look, the worst part is that Many of these people who put these job adverts don't even know the actual process to get a free visa sponsorship opportunity in the UK. And this is what this video is all about. How do you identify these jobs? But most importantly, how do you begin to focus on the ones that are legit? Because you've got people applying for jobs for years, you know, months. They're not getting anything. Look, those jobs don't exist. So if you're new to my channel... You're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I do appreciate your time as usual. I'm all for the people that are implementing the top 1% of people that, like me, are interested in personal and professional development. So if you haven't joined this family, hit the subscribe button now so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. Because I'm all about bringing you the best opportunities to move to the UK, you know. So again, you're welcome here. And let me start by saying that many of the job sites that you see are not legit either. Some job sites have a mixture of legit jobs and jobs that are not legit. But obviously, as a candidate, it is your duty, you owe that to yourself to make sure that you're able to identify that. And let me tell you, it takes a lot of work to identify real vacancies. And so people that are not willing to put in this job and this work that is needed to get those jobs, good luck. So... I have a newsletter, by the way. I've dropped a link in the comment section below where I send information such as this directly to your inbox. I also share information about free visa sponsorship jobs and opportunities to move to the UK or switch your visa if you're already in this beautiful, amazing country. I also share info about career progression opportunities, apprenticeships so that you can study in the UK while being paid and you're not paying any tuition fees, side hustle ideas so that you can supplement your income and eventually leave the rat race because let me tell you no matter how much you earn in the uk it is tough to work and you know retire at the age that they are saying whatever age that's going to be it is not easy so when you join my newsletter i send that info directly to your inbox you're also going to find my contact details on there so there's my whatsapp number as well as my email address so that if you need that tailored personalized guidance and you're like oh my god melvis you know i need to get started with this asap i need to know what i'm doing because it's all crazy then get in contact with me so that we can get started ASAP. Because as you know, time waits for nobody. And the UK government is messing around when it comes to changing laws, immigration policies, and making things different all the times you want to make hay while the sun shines. So how do you identify some of these jobs? And let me tell you, the most common job website that people use is indeed personally i've also made a video talking about indeed how to search jobs on indeed so if you're not sure do check that video obviously i'm going to link up some videos at the end of this so you can have a look as well but indeed is a very mixed website which means there are jobs that are that are legit few of them by the way most of them are not legit most jobs you see on that website don't exist like i'm saying they are not actually offering visa sponsorship those people are not even in many of them are not even in the UK. They don't even know how to get to the UK, but they know that they're going to get through to candidates by putting those job adverts. So when you apply, then they get your details, and then that's how everything else ensues. And you end up losing millions of money, losing thousands of pounds with nothing to show for it. So you need to be very strategic. You need to be very careful when you're on those websites. You need to check as well. Many of those jobs, even when you read them, it's like, what are they on about? A professional company would not put an advert looking like that. And when I see that instantly, I know. And I only see that, obviously, when people send them to me, they're like, hey, Melvis, what do you think about this opportunity? You know, and this and that. And I'm like, okay, you should be checking on the UK government website. So that's how you look for legit jobs. And also, if you're not aware, if you check the description box below, or the about here on this channel i do have a private career coaching program where i offer one-to-one -one tailored individualized and personalized guidance for the top one percent of people like i said you know everything i do is about the top one percent of people that are interested and invested in their personal and professional development so if this is you check out that program do join so that i can support you with free visa sponsorship jobs how do you apply where do you apply what about your cv who are those employees how do you know the le legit employees nhs jobs for example 
Not all NHS jobs offer visa sponsorship. How do you know which ones are offering visa sponsorship and which ones don't? Again, I can support you with all of that. Apprenticeships. How do you apply for those apprenticeships? What are they looking for? Because let me tell you, when it comes to the legit UK jobs, if you don't know what they need, there is like zero chance of being successful. And that's why... Some people even believe that it is not possible to get free visa sponsorship. But let me tell you, every single person in my private coaching program that gets a job in the UK does not pay anything for the visa sponsorship. They pay absolutely nothing because these are employers and we focus on what do these employers need? What do they want? What is the job all about? You know what I mean? The nitty gritty that the other 99.9% .9 of the people are not aware of and they are not focusing on, and they are not obviously interested in. So, like I say, it is what it is. It is a shame, but it's about dedicating yourself and time because it takes a lot of time. And time is something that many people don't want to put in their own success. So if you're not interested in your own success, then be my guest. But leave a comment in the comment section below. What is your situation right now? What is the biggest challenge that you're facing? What do you need in order to move forward? Because look, if you're wanting to move to the UK, you need to be on top of your game. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very challenging. You know, you need to make sure that you're wise, you're smart, you're understanding the policies, you know where to find the jobs and all of that. And like I say, indeed, anybody can put a job advert on Indeed and be able to say that they're recruiting, but they are not aware. You know, so again, you need to be very careful. And like I said, by just reading the vacancy, just reading the advert, I can normally know whether it's legit or not. So if you're in my coaching program, obviously, I do share those legit companies directly on our community hub. If you check the, where it says circles, um, there's information about teaching jobs, carer jobs, nursing, you know, all the different um occupations that offer visa sponsorship to move to the uk so that you've got those legit companies directly on your community hub and it's not something that you're going to be struggling and thinking oh, how do i know how do i not know and so if you're not in that program that's what you should be doing you need to be going to the government website to check against that company and you need to make sure that you're dealing with the right company and if anything seems too good to be true it probably isn't true the way that they're communicating with you as well should also give you some clues because as a candidate it's not about desperation it's about doing your homework doing research making sure that you're vetting the companies that you're working for and that's why you know those of you that are in my program sometimes i say look some of these companies just aren't worth it because when you move to the uk or when you switch if you're already in the uk it's going to be very challenging to move forward to progress in your career or to do anything else for that matter so you need to be checking out you know what those opportunities are that they're going to bring forward because it's not only about being employed or being recruited it's what's going to happen after that and this is where the real stress truly begins because many of us think that you know the biggest challenge is getting a job you know visa sponsorship and moving to the uk or switching but let me tell you the biggest challenge is actually getting a good employer that's going to support you a job that you're going to wake up every day going to work knowing that you're living your purpose, you're living the dream. And even if you're progressing, you're only progressing because you rightfully so deserve it, not because you need to run away immediately. Otherwise, you're going to be stressed out and burnt out. You are worthy of better. You are worth more. And by the way, if you like this content, just hit the like button. It lets me know that you enjoy content like this and obviously I should do more. Also share this with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they are aware of some of these tips, some of these hints, the fact that if they've been applying for thousands of jobs, getting nothing back, it's likely that those vacancies are not real, they're not legit, they're not doing it the proper way. And so they have just been wasting their time all this while. There are people that are renewing TB certificates every six months for jobs that are inexistent. I'm like, why are you doing that? There is an order to apply for jobs. There is a process to pursue. There's a process to follow. And while the legit process can take a while, but you know that you're on the right track, that's what matters. Because if you're not even on the right track, you don't even know that what you're doing is going to get nowhere because the, like, it's just crazy. So please, if you're watching my videos, you need to make sure that you are part of the top 1%. You're doing things properly. You're investing your energy in the right places. You're doing the right things. And no matter how slow the steps are, the main thing is that you should be going towards the right direction. You know, it's not how fast when it comes to these visa sponsorship jobs and career progression is the efficiency that is really ultimately going to make a difference. So like I've said, with all the different websites, it doesn't matter. I only gave Indeed as an example because that's the most 
popular one that most people are aware of but this applies to all the other websites that many of the jobs you see that are not legit and there are very few jobs that are really legit and that's why if you're part of my coaching program as well when i'm sharing those job links i always share the company rather than the actual link and that's why i don't do links you know because with youtube you know, you need, there's a lot of accountability because if you are giving information to somebody, you need to make sure that it's legit. If you share, you know, a company or something that isn't legit and something happens, there's that accountability. And so, you know, it is very important to be aware of that and not just do things for the sake of it. So what is your situation currently applying for jobs? You know, are you in the UK? Are you out? Career progression, what's going on? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be able to join you there. Also join my newsletter, which I've dropped a link in the comment section. Get in contact with me if you need that tailored guidance so I can support you with that process and with that journey. And do check out, you know, these other videos that I've linked up here just to give you more information about other opportunities currently available in the UK. And indeed, how you can find jobs that you can move or switch without paying huge sums of money. So check this out.